Outreach Program is an opportunity for our volunteers to see more of Madagascar. It's a very remote place with few roads, so we get around by boat. It's a 10-day trip. We also have the chance to volunteer with teaching, some construction, village cleans, battery pickups, and just a mishmash of all of our programs. So if you only have a short time available, you get a chance to do a lot. We make several stops at some remote islands and other locations, mostly on the mainland, that you wouldn't get to see otherwise. For example, on the first day, we go all the way out to a little island called Nozimamuku. There you can see giant tortoises, the lemurs, they sit right on your shoulder. There's classes that we can teach English. We love to give out donations. We love to help them clean up trash and all sorts of things like that. A typical day looks like we get to the beach, we pitch our tents all together and get all unpacked and ready to go. And then we start our volunteer activities, everything that I've just described. We impact multiple places, including mainland and other islands, which don't get the help and opportunities that other villages on those Company can get. The Island of Outreach program is conducted on our vessel, which is our diving research and conservation vessel called the Spirit of Malala. Malala is named after the Nobel Prize winner Malala, the youngest Nobel Prize winner, who was an advocate for especially education for females around the world. We admire her and we'd like to have more of her spirit with us every day. And so we've named our boat the Spirit of Malala after her and that is what we use to get around to these lovely locations. We usually start off the day on the boat. We get up, we have our set times and we're usually on the island by about seven o'clock in the morning. Um, doing our uh, conservation work. We, we usually get on, get lesson planning, d ready to um, teach the, the kids and, and adults on, these, on the other islands and even on mainland. We're here in a village close to Nozimamuk and we're just getting ready to give away some presents and gifts that our volunteers have brought for these kids. After that, we've got a beautiful hike planned up to a waterfall and the villagers are very, very welcoming. They'll show us around. Um, show our volunteers what it's like to live in a rural area like this and we'll just have a great time here today for lunch. One of the other main uh, reasons uh, I established MRCI was to provide a platform for volunteers to come and enjoy themselves in Madagascar uh, where they could uh, be in a safe environment, meet um, people that are like-minded, uh, engage with the local community, find out about the culture, and, uh, and enjoy themselves and feel after they've left Madagascar that they've actually made a difference here. Coming into Madagascar, I was very nervous. Um, I didn't entirely know what to expect, but within my first two weeks, I was, I was talking to people, I was making new friends, and the staff were really, really introducing and, and willing to just take, take me on as a person and talk to me if I had any issues and uh, kind of Help me, help me out along the way. Coming here, really, I shouldn't have any, had any worries at all. Um, it's, it's definitely going to be something I'm going to remember for the rest of my life.